What's up guys, Emily here with M Loves. Today we're talking about peacocking and how you can use it to attract women. So let's dive in. So what is peacocking and how can you use it to attract women? Well, I'm so glad that you asked. Let's start with our agenda, what we're gonna to cover today. First, what is peacocking? Then we're gonna talk about how you can use peacocking to attract women. So we'll talk about peacocking with your cute dog, cat, or zoo animal, wearing a funny costume, posting photos of you doing epic things on social, wearing an obnoxious sweater, sharing a vulnerable post on social media, leaving a thoughtful comment on one of her posts, sharing a funny post on social media, um, adding funny standout photos on your profile with examples, and adding funny standout comments in your profile. And so let's move forward. So what is peacocking? Well, peacocking refers to basically the idea of standing out from the crowd in order to attract women. If we look at a male and a female peacock, you'll see there's a lot of sexual dimorphism in the, um, the two genders there. Why is that the case? Well, because evolution has caused the female to select their her partner based on how beautiful the male is, which is kind of um, ironic, but you actually see this across the board in any species where there is more parental investment by one gender. So in humans, we see this uh, because women carry the child for nine months. Um, you see this also in deer, the male deer have the, uh, the little head, what do you call them, antlers, so they, they can fight each other. It all goes back to sexual dimorphism, differences between the male and female gender, and that is based on sexual selection. So the female peacocks have been choosing the most attractive male peacocks, and that's why they have evolved to look very different than the females, because the females are more selective, just like humans, because uh, human females carry the child for nine months, they're going to be more selective and therefore um, they're going to attract certain partners. And over time, you're going to see differences um, in the way that they look. So what is peacocking in human terms? It's trying to stand out from your male competition in some way to attract the attention of a beautiful woman. So how can you do this without getting a huge tail of feathers? Well, there's a lot of things that you can do to stand out from the competition. So um, on your dating profile, you can have a super cute photo with you and your dog. But what if you don't have a dog? Well, you can do it with really any animal that would stand out. So I've seen um, people use like, uh, what do you call them? Elephant photos, giraffe photos. They go on vacation. They maybe have some sort of exotic animal like a monkey. All of that would be a great example of peacocking and getting attention from women because you're standing out from the competition. You can peacock. Here's another example. This is of me and my dog. I'm also like peacocking with the tiny little Nutella because it's tiny and cute. And so it's going to capture the attention of somebody who loves chocolate. Right. But I also have my dog in there. So that's an example. Again, another example, how you could peacock. These do not have to be your dogs either, you guys. You can use other people's dogs, um, but it does capture the attention. And studies show that when you use a photo with you and a dog, especially as your first profile photo, that you're going to get more matches and more right swipes. All right, you can peacock with a zoo animal. There's an example there. I've seen a lot of these on different dating profiles. Very cool. Totally sets you apart. If you think about her frame of mind when she's swiping through photos and then she sees something like this, she's going, it's gonna stand out, right? So you really wanna stand out on your profile. Another thing you can do is wear a funny costume. Whether this is in person or on a dating app, wearing a funny costume is going to set you apart. So ways you can do this. You don't have to just wait for Halloween. Maybe you're going to a costume party or a theme party, or you're doing some sort of marathon where you're supposed to wear themed costumes. Now, I wouldn't let this opportunity pass you by because it's a great opportunity to peacock and get the attention of a beautiful woman. So the key is to not so much have a sexy costume because if it's sexy, it might be intimidating and then she might be afraid to come talk to you, but to have a funny costume, now you're standing out from the competition, standing out from the other guys that are in the you know environment that you're in and attracting her to come talk to you. So really it's about wearing something that makes her laugh so she wants to engage with you. 
Here's another example, very easy to find this on Amazon and very, very funny. Another example for you. <clears throat> And some more. So really, if you, you have any opportunity to dress up, I would never look at it as like, let me be super sexy. Let me be like, you know, whatever, some warrior man. I would be something ridiculous and hilarious because it's going to get her attention. You're going to stand out from other men who are too nervous to do something like that. And she's probably going to come talk to you. You can also use this strategy on your dating profiles to stand out from the competition and demonstrate that you're fun. Everybody wants a fun guy. Um, you can also post photos of you doing epic things on social media. This could be on your dating profile too, but I would recommend connecting your social media to your dating profile if you're able to, and then having even more photos to demonstrate how cool your life is. So you really want to show her what sets you apart from other men. Um, and so posting photos of you doing really cool things is going to be helpful. So you might even think back to when did I get photos? You know, what were the trips that I've been on in the past couple of years? Did I get photos of those? Or do I have any trips that are coming up? Let me make sure that I hire that underwater photographer that seemed like really stupid and unnecessary because actually it's going to help me a lot in attracting the right woman. Yeah. All right. Um, so taking cool photos in different places. I know it's probably against your natural tendency as a man to take a bunch of photos of yourself, but it's actually a really powerful way to stand out from the competition. So if you have a fun vacation planned, make sure that you do get the opportunities to take some photos of you doing these really cool things. It's going to separate you from your competition and it's going to stand out on dating profiles and on social media. You could also wear an obnoxious sweater. This is actually um, one of my favorite all-time clients. I sent him this ridiculous sweater to wear at his cat shows. Crazy, but very funny. He actually got, um, he headlined in, in a newspaper because of this crazy sweater. And you can see how ridiculous it is. It obviously will make women laugh and then want to come talk to you, especially if you wear something obnoxious and then smile and make eye contact and demonstrate that you're really welcoming and open. That is a very cool way to peacock and stand out from the competition. Another thing you could do virtually is to share a vulnerable post on social media. So this is an example of something that I shared. It always blows my mind when uh, you see how much engagement a vulnerable post actually gets on social media because so many people are just posting the highlight reel. So something you can do is share something vulnerable on social media with a nice photo of yourself. And that's going to draw people out. They're gonna to wanna to comment. They're gonna connect with you on a deeper level. And um, it's just an easy way to peacock and, and get the women to come to you more than having to go to them. Although you, you kind of have to do both if you're the man for sure. You can also leave a thoughtful comment on her social media post. So let's say you see that she posts something vulnerable, leaving a thoughtful comment on one of her posts, not just a like, but actually a thoughtful, meaningful comment is going to stand out from the competition because most guys don't do that. So uh, this is an example that someone <clears throat> commented on my post that I did. And so she said, what you gained, clarity of mind, integrity, health, control of your life, purpose, longevity, um, you know, a whole bunch of information there, but super meaningful post. And so it definitely stood out to me, uh, you know, when you're getting a bunch of different comments on a social media post and one is just super thoughtful and, and detailed and even shares like how we might have something in common, that is going to be a great way to peacock and stand out to a woman that you're interested in. Uh, sharing a funny post on social media. So I don't know if you guys have seen TikTok, the Cholo Fit Creeper, but he is hilarious. Actually just got to see him live at Cobb's Comedy in San Francisco. Um, and we got pulled up on stage. It was crazy. I wish I had the photos right here. But uh, anyway, this guy's hilarious. Sharing something on your social media that's super, super funny is going to add value to everyone's life. Um, she's going to laugh. She's going to see what your sense of humor is like. And then if she resonates with that, that may be something that compels her to reach out to you. And certainly that helps her to feel connected and sets you apart from other men. You can also add funny or standout photos on your dating profile. I'm going to take you through a couple examples here. Ridiculous. I think this is so ridiculous because of their faces, especially, and they're like all crammed into this tiny little van. Very funny. I would definitely reach out to somebody with this photo on their profile. Crazy photos you could take. <clears throat> 
Ideally, I would make sure that you're in the photo, but this is just a simple idea of something that you could do and then be like right next to it, right? Um, you can also add funny standout comments on your profile. So here are some of the examples. It didn't go the way I wanted it to. So um, one person said, I'm 6'3". None of my pictures are current. I weigh more than what they show. However, I'll pay for everything on our first date only if you're cool too. Otherwise, first drink only. And another one, don't you hate it when a sentence doesn't end the way you think it octopus? And not a big fan of vinegar. I have a turtle that is 16 years old. He's independent though. Let's see if there's more. Ah, and then we'll get along if you like Love Island, UK. All pretty crazy things to say definitely stood out to me. If you guys want to join the conversation, I do post a lot of questions on TikTok where I ask women and men for their opinion on various um, topics and issues. It's really informative, actually. I found some really cool information there by just asking people questions. If you want to take part in that conversation, would love to have you over um, on TikTok with us. And let me know if you have any other questions that you want me to ask. And check out my free masterclass. It's available um, at the link you see there. I'll also link it in the description below. In this free masterclass, you're gonna learn how to revamp your dating process with mega dating, how to fill up your funnel with online and offline strategies, and how to crush the dates themselves with my date blueprints. So check that out as well. And if you're looking for a world-class dating coaching program and you're super serious about finding love, I invite you to book an intro coaching session with my team over at mloves.com forward slash book. That wraps up this video, guys. If you like this video, make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment in the comments below and follow us on social media. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.